Hello again, Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you so, so much to all my Virgo friends out there for commenting and liking the videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I love you guys. Now this week, Virgo from Lay Vampire, you pulled Enlightenment, Inspiration, Epiphany, and Innovation. And then from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled Perseverance. Now, enlightenment is talking about how there will be a shift in your thinking and a breakthrough regarding a difficult situation. This is about original stance, innovation, and strokes of genius. And then working with this card is telling you to take time to listen to your inner guidance, which will have bright ideas for you. This is about moving beyond habitual solutions to issues that feel entrenched. And then when you look at that with perseverance, I think for some of you, it's it's good to see enlightenment showing up. But perseverance is saying that for some of you, you may be wanting to give up. The very first quote for this card says, don't quit before the miracle. This card is my, the law of attraction doesn't work card. And this is what happens. And then spirit is saying, no, you can't give up. You have to keep going here. This card says that, when we stop doing what we are meant to do, we upset the universal balance that you have to continue working toward the things that you want. You're not seeing it right now, but it lies ahead. It's like right there. It's just that you're not seeing it. You're doing what you're supposed to, but now you're wanting to give up because it's just not happening. But again, it's like spirit is telling you don't. The key ideas are breakthrough, unseen help at work, feeling taken for granted, and overcoming doubts. So I think some of you get a spark of enlightenment and it's going to help you persevere through what you're trying to do here. All right, Virgo, here we go. Here's the energy coming through. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. No matter what is going on, you're going to be just fine. Just fine. The sun is saying that you're feeling rejuvenated. You're having that burst of energy and an enlightenment, enlightenment with the sun. It's perfect. I love it, Virgo. And I do think that spirit is trying to tell you not to give up, not to give up. You can have whatever it is that you want. And in the past, the king of wands. So some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. The king of wands, it, you know, it, looking at, looking at this as a person this can be male or female being a general reading but this is somebody that you're going to be really attracted to and i do think that this is a person from the past coming through it could be an aries leo sag but the person is going to be like really enthusiastic wise and adventurous and creative i like the king of wands he has fantastic energy and seeing the sun with him is beautiful. It's beautiful. And in the present, the four swords. So, you know, and if you've dealt with difficulties, I would want to take a break too, you know, and I, again, looking at that with, with perseverance, I mean, there's two ways to look at it. Either, you know, you're just, you're done, you're needing to rest and recuperate you know, and start to feel that energy again, or you're just taking a break and enjoying your time in the sun with possibly another person. Future conditions. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> the six of cups, this is somebody from the past coming through. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. This could just be a friend from the past, a childhood friend coming through. And maybe you're taking a break and enjoying some time with a friend from the past. And I do think that for some of you, you're looking at really joyful memories here. Absolutely. With the sun being the signifier, you know, some of you could be taking a vacation and spending some time with somebody who's important to you that you have beautiful memories with your best path to follow. Look at that. It's beautiful. The ace of swords. So Clarity. There's going to be clarity for you in the way that you're thinking, the way that you're communicating. Truth is being made known to you here. Enlightenment. I'm telling you, enlightenment. A lot of you are getting just these amazing strokes of genius at the moment. <laughs> 
I like seeing the Ace of Swords and definitely I, I do think that Spirit is telling you to act on whatever new fresh ideas that you have right now. Because you're clear, you're very clear on your thinking and you're clear on what it is that you want. And with the sun on top of that, hell yeah, you can have anything that you want. Just don't ever give up. But I, I do think that a lot of you are doing some reconnecting with somebody from the past and you're sharing some really beautiful time together in your environment. Well, <laughs> and there you are. There you are. I do see this as you. I do see this as you. The Queen of Pentacles. I love this card for Virgo. Virgo busts their ass. They will work their ass off. When you're looking at the Queen of Pentacles, this is the working mom. She is the one that will go and bust her ass all day at work. She comes home. She takes care of the kids. She does the laundry, does the dishes, makes the food, da -da, right? Creates the comfortable, stable home for the people in her life. And that is Virgo. You guys will give your shirts off your back to somebody if they need it. And you're always there to listen. You give fantastic practical advice. Absolutely. And I really do think that you're really in tune with yourself right now. And you're connecting with somebody and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it, Virgo. Your hopes and your fears, the seven of swords. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I look at this with the sun next to it. I'm not even worried. Like, I think for some of you, you're, you're not wanting to leave anything behind here when it comes to spending time with this person from the past, you know, and this could suggest like, and I, I don't know why I'm just kind of getting this feeling here for some of you, this may be somebody that, you know, things may not have worked out so well before and it's like you're fearing that there's going to be a repeat but i think again with the sun being there that it's it's just a fear it's just a fear when you look at the seven of swords it's sneakiness but then the other thing too is that this is not really being truthful about the way that you feel it's it's almost like keeping things close you know not really revealing yourself or your plans and, you know, not really speaking your truth. Especially if it comes to the way that you might be feeling about reconnecting with somebody from the past. That you're, you're like putting your life on hold for here. And you're spending time with them. Now, for some of you, it could definitely be that you're dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign. And you're just enjoying things. But there's a need for you to talk about, you know, those joyful memories. But I think that this is you because I've always seen this card as Virgo. When this card shows up, it's Virgo. It is Virgo. And it being in your environment, it's you. You're really in tune with yourself right now, especially with the sun. I just think that there's a need here. If you're reconnecting with somebody from the past that you have some really beautiful memories with, I think it's time for you to really open up and start speaking clearly about the way that you feel and the way that you're thinking. My mom always said, my mom, the Virgo, she always said that the truth will set you free. And I think that, you know, once you start speaking your truth, it's going to lift a weight off of you here with the Seven of Swords, possibly. But then, you know, there's the other feeling, too, when you're looking at the past. For some of you, you know, it could be a situation where somebody just kind of took off. But now there's like this reconnection. And then the outcome, the moon, <laughs> the sun and the moon. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at this, especially with the seven of swords and the ace of swords being here. The sun is saying that everything is just fine. What we see under the light of the moon is going to be very different under the light of the sun. These are things that are going to be coming up to the surface that you're going to have to deal with when it comes to, I think, a person from the past that you're reconnecting with. The other part of this too is the parts of yourself that you may not want to deal with are coming to the surface. The other thing too is don't get caught up in illusions here when it comes to connecting with this person, right? It don't, I, I think, you know, you need to be careful about, you know, the way that you're talking to them about how you're feeling about the connection, but you know, don't, 
don't disillusion yourself either. You know, I'm not seeing this as a really bad outcome. I, I'm there's, you know, traditionally with the moon, there's fear and anxiety, but it's also things being illuminated, right? Things coming to the surface. But again, what we see under that light of the moon is going to be very different from the sun. And these are things that are going to have to be dealt with. And it's not bad. I just think some of you aren't really being open. And maybe there is a need to be here with this person because I'm not seeing any reason why you shouldn't be communicating with them because both of these are suggesting that you're not. But at the same time, you're reconnecting with them. And this is saying truth, clarity, communication, honest communication. And I think that's why the moon is showing up. All right, Virgo, we're going to take a look at the soul trees to see what other messages there are for you guys. But I do think that the moon is just saying that these things are going to come to the surface and you're going to be forced to look at them. The best way to deal with it is just to start speaking truthfully about the way that you're feeling and the way that you're thinking in regards to you connecting, reconnecting with somebody. And definitely if you're internalizing the king of wands, it's definitely being adventurous, but intentions, you know, setting your intentions absolutely when it comes to the things that you're wanting, but you need to be clear on what your intention is. And and I think that for some of you, you're needing truth and clarity on what the intention of the other person is as well here. Because I, I've got a feeling for some of you, this is a connection that's a little bit more than just friendship, honestly. But belief, it, it definitely goes back to perseverance. Believe in yourself. Believe that the things that you're wanting are possible for you, but you know, set your intentions, right? An adventure. It's fun. I love it. All right. We're going to take a look at the romance angels to see what else is going on for you guys in terms of love. All right. So immediately when I seen that, I, the first thing I thought of is, oh yeah, if some of you are in a relationship and you have an ex coming back through, definitely there's a need to be truthful about intentions. And trust this situation is calling for you to have faith, you know, believe, right? But trusting in your partner and your partner trusting in you, but you know, you need to release that kind of energy here. If that's not something that you're wanting, especially if you're in a committed relationship right now, because you definitely have somebody from the past coming through. You know, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but I do think for a lot of Virgos, somebody's going to be popping up. And it may be in the middle of you taking a break or taking a vacation, right? But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, for those of you who are in a relationship, you have to release that energy and trust that, you know, you will be able to handle this situation because, you know, enlightenment is saying that there's going to be a new way for you to think about the situation, you know, but overall Virgo, I, I like this reading. There's some things going on here, but I do think that spirit is saying that there needs, for, there is a need for, here for both of you, you and the, the other person to be truthful, open, honest, and truthful about the way that you're thinking and the way that you're feeling. All right, Virgo. I love that the sun is the signifier for this because I really do think that some of you are going to be just fine. No matter what happens here, you're going to be okay. And I really do think that, you know, when you're looking at perseverance and epiphany and with the Ace of Swords, if you guys are getting some strokes of genius right now, especially with this Ace of Swords, it's definitely worth acting on. But perseverance is saying don't give up. You may not see the results right off the bat, but it's there. It's there. You have to keep working toward it. But the story that I'm seeing here is something a little bit different. I do think that you have somebody from the past coming through and I think it's going to happen while you guys are like taking a break and enjoying some time in the sun. Right? I think you have a connection with this person that goes a little bit deeper than just friendship. I think for some of you, this may be a past lover, which explains why release your ex is showing up for the couples, right? I think this person is going to be popping up you're, you're being you. I mean, look at it. You're you, you're, you're kicking back and yeah, I'm in tune with myself right now and I'm enjoying some me time. And then all of a sudden, bam, here's this person and you're reconnecting with them. But seeing the seven of swords and the moon, you know, and then looking at intention, 
right? What What's the intention here? And then release your ex. I, I have to wonder here. I do think that there are things that are going to be surfacing that you're going to need to be truthful about and stop guarding the way that you're thinking and the way that you're feeling. Because I do think with the Seven of Swords, you're kind of keeping your cards close to your chest. You're not really revealing everything. And there's a need here for you to be truthful. Otherwise, the situation can go way different, way different, you know. But again, with the sun being there, you're going to be fine. But I do think for those of you who are in a relationship, there is a need to release that kind of energy. You know, and trust is so important in a relationship. But I think that you need to trust yourself in being able to do the right thing, especially if you're happy in a relationship. Now, for those of you who are single, make the effort. If you are reconnecting with somebody, it is very important for you to start speaking truthfully about the way that you feel and the way that you think. With the Ace of Swords being in your best path to follow, it, it is important. It is going to be really important for Virgo to be clear in their communications this week, especially when it comes to people. And I do think it's somebody from the past, all of a sudden, boom, here they are. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm doing my thing right now. <laughs> now, as far as adventure and believe, I really do think that if some of you follow this and see where it leads, you need to be careful again with the moon about you know, chasing illusions here. You want to be clear in communicating clearly what your intentions are. But I do think for some of you, it's a new adventure. And there's a need to believe that, you know, the situation may be different than what it may have been in the past. It's different. It's different. And I like the story that's playing out here for you guys. But, you know, overall, with the sun, again, you're going to be just fine. And I would, I would absolutely enjoy being in tune with yourself right now and enjoying the sunshine on you. I would definitely be taking a break and enjoying your lives because you guys are doing fantastic.